So we are now continuing our activity on the receipt accounting and reconciliation actually. Fine. Go there. So let me go on and share my screen. So now we have pushed both the transactions into the receipt accounting area. We are now pushed both the accounting into the receipt accounting area. So we will now go to this place. So if you go on then see on this area, fine. Go to the home icon and go to the home icon and then the supply chain execution. And then here you go to the receipt accounting. Remember, cost accounting is having a period, whereas receipt accounting do not have any period at all. No period is there for the receipt accounting. Thank you. And then here it is not showing a value of $180. This I tested it in the morning actually, but it is not of my BU actually. And then go down now. Fine, click on it. I'll not choose my BU. I click on it. I'll not choose my BU. So for my BU, nothing is there actually. T01 BU. Fine, click on apply. So once when you apply it, the cost of receipt is not coming. But even after distribution creation and accounting also is not coming. So there is some uh, setup which is required on this area. Fine, that is what I wanted to know. Fine, even after I create the distribution and then I perform the accounting also, it is not showing. But in the generic area, it shows now. So go there. If you go for all, it shows. If you go for all business unit, what happens? It, it will not show. You can now see $180. And then remember, 2,000 quantities at a price of two, it is $4,000 that will be getting added to the cost of receipts once when I make it. But for my BU, it's not coming at all. Now, let us now go there and then click on the create accounting distribution. Click create receipt accounting distribution. Thank you. It has already been pushed from your inventory into costing by transfer receiving to costing. And then transfer inventory to costing also. So since we transferred the receiving into costing, it has now reached the interface tables of receipt accounting. It has now reached the interface tables of receipt accounting. I will now go that I will now go to what? Create receipt accounting distribution. So once when you run it, from the interface table, the base tables of receipt accounting, it will now come. And click on the create receipt accounting distribution and go to account. The business unit is what? T01. And give it up. So it needs a business unit as a parameter, actually. The remaining leave it as such and then click on survey. So this is now going to create the receipt accounting distribution. And go to account. I will now click on survey. So once when you submit it, what happens? The 507 is now running. Fine. So it will now spawn one more concurrent for bringing it to the base tables. So if you click on refresh now, and go back. So create receipt accounting distribution now start. You know, passed. And then that will now what happens? The trigger one more concurrent for bringing in the data, import transactions in the interface of visit accounting into the base tables of visit accounting. So once when that is completed, it will now run a sub process also for distribution creation actually. So first the data will be brought from the interface tables of visit accounting into the base tables of visit accounting, and then a sub process will run for creating the distribution structure. So there are three concurrents which will run upon every create receipt accounting distribution. On every create receipt accounting distribution, there will be three ESS jobs which will be running. One is this, and then one is the import, and then next is what? Transfer, create a sub process, fine. The distribution, fine. So, is a create receipt accounting distribution sub process is going to run. So, once when all three concurrents are run, then what about the, the receipt accounting? What happens? It will now be distributions are created in the receipt accounting area. <coughs> so, the parent is passed, the child is running. So, once when all the child are completed, the parent will also complete. Past. So go there. Wait for it to complete now. So we are running now. So let it complete. So once when it's completed, so you will now find the receipt accounting distributions getting created actually. Remember, receipt accounting do not have any periods at all. Only cost accounting is having a period. So it is a gate receipt which has been made now. Right? For a gate receipt, one will be coming from supplier, one will be coming from what was a customer as a RMA, and then one will be coming as an interop transfers in transit. Right. Interop transfers in transit also is going to get the gate now. IOT or transfer orders. IOT, transfer orders, and then supplier and customer are the four various sources through which what happens, the data will now come and then hit the receiving area. Now. So it is all completed and succeeded. We'll go there, click on it. We'll go to this place, fine. click on the review receipt accounting distribution. It is $180, remember. It's the previous in the morning. I've done it. So click on the review receipt accounting distribution. It's the morning value. Fine. So I will now say item starts with fine. It's a T01, 01 of the one. Fine. And the business unit fine. starts with. Fine. I will now put what? T01. No putting it fine. So click on search. So I'm going to search for it. We got it. So well, the distributions are processed actually. The distributions are processed. We got it actually. 
So it is the source number. Fine, this is one. It is the unit number. And then GR number is three thousand one. Now fine with that. So GR number is three thousand one. Fine with the receipt date. Fine with that. Purchase order number, distribution one. Fine. Everything is not shown. So you go down to the bottom and then have a look. Fine. Click on this. Go down now. So click on it. The bottom. What happens? You can now see the transaction taxes is nothing because it is all location based taxes as far as it is concerned. The purchase order cost is two dollars. So if you go and then click on the distributions. Fine with that. So the distribution will be getting what? The receiving inspection to accrual. Fine. Receiving inspection will be debited. And then the accrual will be credited directly. Fine. These are the two activities which will be happening on the receiving. Fine. Receiving inspection to accrual. Fine. I will not go to the distributions. You can now see this. Fine. The distributions. You can now see. Fine. The receiving inspection is not debited. The accrual is not credited directly. Accrual is charged. And then these are all for the taxes actually. For the taxes, there is nothing. Fine. This one, this one is for the taxes. Actually. So we have got three levels of taxes in the mission. Fine. One is the state, county, and city. So two of the taxes are null because this location is not having any association to any tax. Profiles basically. That is why these two things are null, null. There is a receiving inspector over there. So both the taxes fine. The transaction taxes fine. This is what is. So go there and then have a look. So transaction taxes copied from the purchase order fine. Whatever it is. So it's all. Now let us now go on and create the journal entries now fine. So here I have a problem now fine. Click on it. And then in the main area it doesn't show me at all. I know the distribution is now created. If you go there, click on it. I will now go there, click on it. I will now go to my T zero one fine. <clears throat> Avinash, are you there? So click on apply now. So it doesn't show me. Ah, it's showing. Ah, it's there, it's showing somewhere. Very good. Previously, it was not coming. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So it shows the cost of receipt as four k. So upon distribution creation, previously it was not coming. Fine. On the, on the previous view is not coming. So we now we got it. So the material cost is four k. Yes. Huh? Go there inside to go and check whether it's ours or not. Click on that. Yeah, yeah. If you click on it, it will be ours because the business unit is ours, na. Okay. So business unit is ours. If you click on it, it will not show you the distribution also. If you click on the what happens? The blue icon, it will not show you the distribution. It is ours only because two thousand and two is four thousand. Right? Previously, I made only five hundred quantities. This time, for a difference, what happens? I made it. Right? It is not showing the distribution. Everything is missing. Now, remember, your activity is what. Up to distribution clauses is the supply chain team's responsibility. But accounting, even though it is not your responsibility, now setting up the account becomes your responsibility. That is what my students are saying. Right? Setting up of accounts is the responsibility of the supply chain team. So you have to learn fully now. Right? So attend Tijil's class. You will not hear a lot on this. Now let us go there and then let us know accounting. Right? I will not go to the accounting. Click on create accounting. Distributions are processed and then go there. I will not go to the create accounting. So create account. accounting, create accounting. Let me create accounting. So previously we have chosen this as a cost management. Now we have to choose it as a receipt management, receipt accounting. I will not go to the place. I will not make it as a receipt accounting. Fine with that. Ledger is U.S. primary ledger. U.S. primary ledger. I am not doing it. Fine with that. So everything is okay. Fine with that. Is the summary, is the detail? Fine. I am not posting to GL also. I am not pushing it to GL also because vision is fully set, and so we can very well do it now. Fine. Click on it. I am not pushing it to GL. So receipt accounting is the one. Fine. Click on submit now. Now we will not see whether any problem is coming on the receipt accounting or not. So click on the receipt accounting. So it's on submit and bank record. So 4K is now submitted. So we'll now go to the monitor process and then have a look at it. Refresh it and then have a look at it. Good that it has now come in the what happens in the info it itself now. Fine. So create accounting sub process now. Create accounting and all that. Fine. You know, running the sub process. It will now give you a report also. So again, import of the journal has to happen now. Fine. If all the accounting is correct, then journal import will now happen. If journal import is not happening, that means what? There is a problem in accounting setup. So click on it. Credit accounting sub process is now completed. Fine. The credit accounting is running. Fine. The sub process is now completed. Go there. Not import journal child is running. Fine. That means what? It is now perfect actually. <clears throat> Fine. Click on it. It is now perfect. So import journal has to run. Then only what happens? It is perfect actually. Import journal. <clears throat> so here I will now go on and have a look at the accounting also. Fine. Fine. I will now go on and have a look at it. So post journals is now in fine. Post journals, importing and posting is happening now. Fine, click on it. So now what happens? It will be fully accounted actually. Post journal is now running. Fine. Import journal is succeeded. Fine. So post journal is succeeded. Fine. So post journal single ledger is now coming. Fine. Go to the place. Go to the receipt accounting, and then make a search now. Fine. Now the transaction says is now distribution process now. Fine, go there. Come on. Uh, where is the this thing here? Oh, we are now come via this now. Fine, go. We are come via the info let actually. So we will now go via inside and then have a review. Now. Fine, click on it. We will now go on the review. And click on the review receipt accounting distribution. I will not click on it. I will not review it now. I will not put item starts with what? I will not say it is a T zero one zero one. Go there. Click on search. Now click on search. To search for it. The previous state is what distribution clauses. Now it has ended up in error actually. 
<laughs> there it has imported but it's still in the error not and that not i will not go to the journal entries and then how about the error not for journal entries what are the error we will not see so there is a receipt into inspection fine there is an error not so there is error thank you on it i will not how about it so here is saying the accrual mapping set is not set at all because of which it has ended in error but even then it was not showing it is imported right that is why what happens i want avinash or others to come fine so journal import has happened but accrual is not set at all so let us now set up the accrual of the receipt accounting fine so this is a receipt accounting accrual now fine this is a receipt accounting well fine let us now set up the accrual for the receipt accounting <coughs> so for that one so i will now set up the accrual now fine so we are given 22270 as the po accrual let us now put the same accrual account on this place now and the receipt accounting fine this is not set actually not set I will not go there. Click on it. Let us now set up. So I will not go to this place. I will not go to the receipt accounting accrual. I will not go to this place. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance. This time we have to go to the receipt accounting and not the what happens supply chain management. Fine. Normally, what happens we go to manufacturing and supply chain management for the cost management and then we will not set up all the PO accounts now. Fine. All the PO accounts and then uh, we go to the purchasing accounting for expense accrual that you have seen. Now for the receipt accounting we have to go to the procurement. We have to go to the procurement. And the procurement, what happens? You go there, go to the manage matter set. In the procurement, you go there and go to the manage percentage, fine. Map percentage, set percentage, and then go there. You have to go to the receipt accounting. You have to go to the receipt accounting. Fine. In the receipt accounting, we will now set up the accrual. Fine. So on the receipt accounting, fine. Click on the manage mapping set of the receipt accounting. Again, click on this. It doesn't have any scope at all. Remember, whenever you are in the procurement, it will not have any scope. Fine. Only on the cost management. only on the what happens the manufacturing and supply chain management the scope will be going so when you are going for the procurement for the management mapping set it will not have any scope at all fine click on the management mapping set and then we will now set up the accrual actually accrual is there in the top itself fine click on the accrual let me set up the accrual click on the accrual and do that so is the us chart of accounts fine we will select it and then here again for the org is there fine it is not there so let us now pick it up fine click on it so it is a 22270 let me put it fine i will not click on plus now fine click on plus or not wait now so go there it is a t 011 fine go there it is a, it is again whenever you are having a category based what happens you are drop down and then choose the top now fine the star you choose it and then for the item number i can put a star now. star is a wild card actually go there so click on it in the po we have set up 2270 here also what happens i am moving so 22210 is basically a liability account of ap actually i am not putting 22270 so accrual at the receipt accounting is now set thank you concept close accrual is now set and then one more account is what receiving inspection and now go on and make it like, thank you on it receiving inspection will now go on and check receiving <coughs> ca receiving inspection on the receipt account receiving inspection will now thank you on it we'll now see how it has been set actually thank you on it in the us start up account fine account they have given a all star actually there is already a star 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 as a made as a default so that is why it is not giving any any problem on the receipt account so receiving inspection is not giving any problem at all fine with that receiving inspection because it is having a star area so what happens is only accrual is giving a problem and it is now set any doubts good i don't know so for that we will now run the credit accounting again now fine you know end the error now fine let us now run the credit accounting fine with that we will now run the credit accounting so credit accounting so we are now set the what your accrual for the receipt accounting we are set now fine with that accrual for the receipt accounting we are set now fine with that i will now go to the receipt accounting and ledger is what us primary ledger somebody can say yes to me fine <laughs> nobody is saying anything at all so click on it i will not go to what detail now fine i will not post it again <laughs> previously also it imported the journal and then i don't know how it's all done in fine now only what happens in my click on something we are running it now now this receipt accounting will not succeed now click on something this receipt accounting is not going to succeed we are going to run it now running it now. so we'll now wait for the monitor process then have a look at it <clears throat> So credit accounting is now running fine. Once it is completed, you will not find any error at all. <clears throat> no errors will be there because we are now set up the uh, receipt accountings accrual. The receipt accountings accrual. Fine. This is the receipt accounting on this place. We have set it up, and then the receipt because this receiving inspection is already set the star actually, so there is not uh, giving any error. Otherwise, that also has to be set for org wise actually. So once it is completed, you will now find the error going away. The error will go away. and then it will not show that it is all fully accounted actually now the real uh, problem is going to begin fine this is where people are finding lots and lots of issues actually so the import journal is again running fine all flash type i don't know why it came now fine it has to only now only it is a real run actually the import journal child is a real run actually and then post journal and then post journal journal for single ledger now fine 
it will also generate a report also. You can also look at the report also. So I'm not going to look at the report. So once when the post is now succeeded, we'll not go on and look at it. The post is completed, fine, that's not. I will now click on search again. The error will now go away. Fine, click on search now, fine. The error will go away. Fine, click on that. You now see the error going away. <clears throat> it is now final accountant. Fine. So receipt accounting for this receipt is now final accountant. Fine, go there. Now you're having all these accounts. So here, what happens? Uh, you will have one more entry for intercompany. Tijil, are you there? If Tijil is there, he will now explain you about one more entry for intercompany is also coming. Fine. On the debit side as well as the credit side. He will not teach you all these things. Okay? In this training, what happens? He will not teach you all these things. Okay? Receiving inspection to accrual, okay? that is our real entry. And then we have one more entry on the intercompany also, on the debit side and then the credit side. Okay? So the intercompany is what? This is 18,100. This is 29,100 now. So these are the two additional entries which are coming up. So that will all be taught in a Tijil's what happens? A costing training. Also, because he is a costing expert actually. So his job is only to cost. Okay? So he is a cost accountant actually. And, uh, now, we are not going to make a payment now. Fine. So let us now go and then make a payment. We will now go to the AP and then make a payment. Any doubts on this final accountant? Receipt accounting is now final accountant. We will now go ahead and now fine, click on that. And then you can now see on the main area, so fine, that not, on this one, fine, we know that. Fine. There are no exceptions and then there is no unmatched accrual balances. And then what happens is there is no accrual right after. Now, we are now going to create a AP invoice for this. We will now go, that, not, we'll now go to the AP invoice. Any doubts? Fine. Somebody can say yes to me that you understood it now. Hello, <clears throat> are you all there? <laughs> Nobody is answering me. Come yeah, on. no, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Complete cost and training. That's why. Huh? I have I had completed cost and training at Tizil. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. So <laughs> his fans is now fine. Who is this? Srinivas. Srinivas already has already completed costing with Tizil Goel. Fine. Hey, come on. If there is any value addition or uh, if you want to add anything to whatever I say, please open up your mind and tell me. Fine. <clears throat> So Srinivas already has already completed the costing training with Tijil actually, fine. Got us. Got us. Now, let us now go to the home icon and then let us now try to create an invoice. Thank you. I will now go to the payables now, thank you on the payables. <clears throat> I will now go to the payables now, fine. So I will now go to the invoice and then let us now create a payable. So for creating a payable, what happens, there are two setups are required. One is an invoice options and then one is a common options. Fine. Both of them has to be said, thank you on it. I will now go to the create invoice. Fine. I will now take up the value of the, what happens, the same amount. So the value of the PO is what this one. I won't take it off. Wait, so I'll now click on it. I will not put the identifying PO over here. So I'm going to put the identifying PO and that. So it's not coming because the invoice option is not at set actually. So we have to set up the invoice options as well as the common options. Nothing is set. I give a cancel. So let us now set up the invoice options and come over here. I click on it. I will not click on it. <clears throat> I will now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and then set up the invoice options. So I will now go to the financials here. I'm going to click on the financials. And then go there. Manage invoice options. Manage percentage. Invoice percentage. Options percentage. So manage invoice options. The one. And the so the one. So change the scope to our scope now. Can click on it. And drop it down. And then go to select net. And click on apply and go to task. And then change it to our scope. Now. Is that easy? This is not costing setup. Right? It is an invoice setup. It is not a costing setup. Right? To create an invoice, setup. we had to have the invoice option set actually. Financial setup. It is a financial setup. It is a financial setup. The financial. So select it and then click on save and close. Then so yeah. This is the financial setup. Right? Invoice currency, I don't say US dollars, fine. Payment currency is also US dollars. Fine. The pay group is I don't put standard now. Standard, what happened? Standard of the one. The payment priority, everything is now set all day. And go that point. I will not make what uh, reserve days. Okay, fine. This will all be fully taught in a in a payable stream. So it's all there, fine. Here payment terms is again immediate now. Fine. I will not put immediate. So, then, so all the mandatory fields are filled up. Fine, go that with which the invoice option is fully set now. Fine, click on save and close. It'll you'll all be learning about it. Everything fine, invoice entry, matching, discount, etc. etc. Everything will be taught in the payable stream. But with the mandatory fields, I'm now completing it. Fine, click on it. The mandatory fields fine. Now we can very well create an invoice. But one more setup is also required that is common options. Fine. It will not show an error now. Fine, on it. So previously the PO is not identified. If you go to the payables and then click on the invoice, and then when you want to create an invoice, now it will not show you that accrual is not set actually. And click on it. PO will be identified now. I go that click on it. I will not paste the PO. And the, the PO will be identified. Now the PO has come. Previously it was not coming. After invoice option is not coming. Fine, go that point. So let us say 2000 is the one. Fine, go that. I will not put a number. Let us say, uh, let us say 5001. 5000 is the number. So let us say out of 1200, 2000, what happens? I am not going to pay only 1800. 1800 I am going to pay now. I click on it. 
So at this time, it will not show, when I try to match the invoice, fine, it will not throw an error that accrual is not set actually. Liability is not set. So liability is not set. So liability is not set. That is uh, set by what happens, your uh, common options for payables and payables. And liability is not set. So if you go there and see now, fine, this place, fine, the liability has to be set. So this is set via your, uh, what happens, uh, manage common options for payables and procurement. So liability is not set. So that is why it's not going ahead at all. Fine, keep on, okay, no, fine. You don't give a cancel and then let us now set up the liability. Fine, keep on it. Don't go there. I will not go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> don't go to the setup and maintenance. And then here, what happens? Click on it. I will not go to what? Uh -huh. Search now, fine, keep on, search. Yes, tell me. Tell me. You can set up in uh, supplier site level also. Yeah, yeah. Supply side, but this is a must actually. Fine, manage percentage. Fine, common percentage. OPT percentage. Fine, Man common options for payables. This option has to be set actually. This is a must for it. Thank you. This is the one which is mainly for payables actually. Fine, it has to be set actually. You know, go there. I will not populate me. What happens if you are missing? Fine, go up here. So liability. Fine, go there. Click on it. So two 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 uh, two one zero. I am going to use it now. Fine, the account. What happens? Let me use the two two one zero. So two two two. Uh, uh, what are the uh, payables liability? This is the one accounts uh, 22210 accrual receipts. So 22270 was a PO accrual. The liability is what 22210. And then these accounts will all be given with the financial team. Right? You don't worry. I'm now choosing something in a random manner, but financials will not tell you each and every account what you have to set up. So 22210, the one which is a liability account. Right? So I will not populate this liability account because I don't have any other value fine for the taking copy of it because everything is a liability account. I will not put everything on this. Fine. These are all wrong actually, but it will work actually fine because it's not uh, hitting wrong accounts actually. It doesn't matter. Because we are not going to do any accounting on the financial side. We are not going to do accounting only on the costing side. And that one, I'm not putting it. So realize again also I'm placing it on that. These are all wrong, but it doesn't matter. So it will not be through at least now. Fine. Our activity will be through even though on the real financial accounting it is wrong. So I will not go there. I will not put T01. I will not put the lock one over here. Build a location. <clears throat> so T01, build, build a location. Go there. <clears throat> I will not choose that one. Oh God, he's also not accepting it. So this account is not accepted. Come on here. 22210 is not accepted. <clears throat> so you'll not go down and then make a search now. Find account. I will not go there. So you can make a search now. Find click on search now. Search for it. So I will not go there. I will not go there. 222. <clears throat> I was remembering 10. Zero, no, no, zero is not accepting it. 70 will be used it now. Fine. Because this is the what's called a summary account. And so we should not use a summary account. Why it is not using this now? It's not accepting it. I don't know. So let me do something else. 2280. You must see whether it accepts it or not. So go there, click on OK. I don't know. The combination cannot be used. It either does not exist or it is used. It is not permitted actually. Okay, let me use the 70 only. Fine, 22270. Because account should be proper actually. Fine. I am not setting up in a random manner. Other payable I'm using. You cannot use it now. Click on it. Come on. Why it is saying like this? So B01, T01, lock one. Fine. The T01. Why lock one is not coming? It has to come. Fine. Lock one is coming. There is no put now. Fine. Uh, it has to accept this now. Fine. Click on save now. Fine. So click on save. You know, see whether they're not getting saved or not. Ah. So click on OK. No, no, miscellaneous is anyhow optional, right? You can remove it. Uh, where? The combination cannot be used. The combination cannot be or no. using this cannot be permitted. Now, so some other maybe uh, balancing segment value. Uh, the company the... value, the balancing mm. will be wrong now. Fine. I will not go there. Click on it. 101 is a US1 LE1 only. Now fine. Go there. US1 LE1 second primary balancing actually. So which one I had um, used? Shall I use this one? 110? You must see whether 110 is okay or not. So click on okay and then click on save. Now. See. The combination cannot be used. It either does not exist or using it here is not permitted actually. Fine. Click on it. Ah. No, cross uh, validation rule is applying, I believe. <laughs> Maybe somebody will do the cross validation. I, I will not do one thing. I will not go to the See? US one now. Fine. Go there. US one business unit. I will not pick up the account now. Fine. Go there. US one business unit. I will not pick up the same account and then probably do it. The account of the business unit. Fine. Click on yes now. Fine. Change the business. I will not take up this account. Now. I will not take up this account. So let me go there and then put the same account over here. Now. Some, some other setups is now basically causing a problem actually. 
So give a cancel and what happens? 22100, fine. That is what I say. So cancel it. Again, that is why Avinash or others has to come now, fine, to help me out. Oh God, this field itself is now locked, man. So it's not accepting it. Fine. I will not close this area, fine. I will not go to this place, fine. I will not go there. Right click and then duplicate now, fine. Click and duplicate. There is a cross validation rule. That's why it is not accepting the yeah, yeah. system is not combination. Cross validation, code combination is not accepting it. I got it. Mm. So we are not bothered about the accounting. Fine, accounting will all be set by them now actually. So let us now go that click on it. No I have only taken a copy of the other one, the US one business unit. Fine, on set up a maintenance. Go that click on it. I will not go to the search now. Fine, click on search. I will not say manage common options. Fine, you manage percentage. Fine, common percentage. Pay percentage. So I will not put that account over here. Fine. T01 and then tab. I will not paste this account. I will not put up everything over here. But in fact, in the vision, we are all having different accounts. It doesn't matter. Because we need to, what happens, pass this step actually. Otherwise, it won't come. Oh God, we are not accepting it. The combination cannot be used. It either does not exist or using it here is not permitted actually. Can we just check what is valid there? Can we check on How that? To check it now? How to check it? Valid. 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 This unit is triple two one zero. Accrued receipts. Fine. Triple two one zero. Triple two one zero. We'll not put it fine. No see. The combination is not used. It cannot be used. It either does not exist or using it here is not permitted. No, no. Go to the global search. Yes, it has been set in com cross validation rule. Uh -huh. They would have excluded, right? In this one. Okay. I will not use the line of business two or what? This is okay now. Nah? Line of business is okay now. Nah? Oh, no. Zero, zero, zero. Company, I had to change it now. Nah? Yeah. You have to uh, check only with the company now. Nah? US one, LE two. But that is a different one nah? altogether. Click on again. Nah? Ah, the combination cannot be used. No, nah, no. Nah, you go to the uh, search area. So search area, say no, click on search area. No, 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 not here, not here. <laughs> go to the uh, next tab, go to yeah, uh, global search. This one, nah? no, 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 Gl global search where you uh, find all the tasks. No, ah, ha, ha. okay, I will now right click on the duplicate now. Duplicate, or shall I create one account and then do it now? Fine, so that what happens, it will not be giving any problem. And let me create one account. But the one which is throwing error, Nana, sir, it's miscellaneous, right? Uh, is it not it miscellaneous, user, right? And the account is not saying some cross validation. Let us now create one account and then use it. Fine. Let us now create one account and I will now say manage percentage. Fine. Nana, can we check by removing that account because it is not mandatory? No, no, no. Account is a mandatory one. Fine. Manage account. So, so. Miscellaneous is not mandatory, Nana. Which is not mandatory? All the, all the segments are mandatory, actually. No, no, he is talking about that miscellaneous uh, column. This it one. is already removed. That miscellaneous field, right? That is where it is showing that the chart of value is not is mandatory. So? Yeah, okay. this one you can remove it, right? Okay, yeah. okay. You're saying here now, okay. okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It, it is not we'll showing there. We'll not see whether this is a problem or not. Fine. So, that that is not the problem. problem. Maybe, no. maybe, maybe. We'll not see. No, fine. Not. I will not say better location. Fine. I will not say T01. Maybe. Very good. Very good observation. No, fine. No, so, that account has been removed. No, fine. No, I will now go on and click on save. Fine, click on save. I think it has saved now. Click on save and close. Fine, click on save and close. Got it. Fantastic. Fine. Who is this? Who has told it now? T01. This is now saved. Who has told this now? Answer? Myself. Bala. Bala has told. Beautiful, beautiful Bala. Fine. So, in the miscellaneous, it is not accepting it. Fine. Okay. <laughs> so, 22100. Fine. Again, I am not uh, very much bothered on this. Fine. Beautiful. Now. Okay. now, let us now go there and then create an invoice. Fine. So, the common options has been set as well as your uh, what's called invoice options also set. Now, we can very well create a payable invoice. Okay. Yeah, in the star icon, you can see create invoice. Mana. Go so, to star icon. Uh, I know only one method. I will not do it. Now. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, go no, the the recent item only. Fine. Check on the create invoice. Fine. I will not put my payables invoice. Now. I will not take profit. I will not go that. Click on it. I will not go on again to pay. So click on it. Don't go that. Don't go. The business unit, everything is coming. So I will not put a number, let us say, uh, 6001. Now, I am not going to release the entire quantity. Now, fine. 2000 quantity, I am not going to receive it. Only 1900. 
I am going to relieve it now. One thousand nine hundred is what? Three thousand eight hundred. Three thousand eight hundred. So we will not relieve the entire quantity. Right? This is because of very many reasons in the company. Actually, the one three thousand eight hundred. Right? I will not obtain the matching now. Right? For the three thousand eight hundred, I am going to obtain. <clears throat> So click on it. We are not going to pay everything. We have received everything. Fine, brother. If you select it, what happens? The entire quantity is available for a match actually. But now, what happens? Let us say I am in the uh, user department, and then here, <coughs> what happens? I am now finding that two hundred quantities are now defective. I talk, spoke to the supplier. Supplier is saying you send it to me, and then I will now repair it, and then within twenty four hours I am going to give it back. I send it, and then it is now seventy two hours, and then he has not returned back the two hundred quantities. So what I am going to do is. I will now ask the payables to create an uh, what happens a payment only for thousand eight hundred quantities and not for the entire two thousand. Right. So the payable is going to hold back two hundred quantities. So let us say the payment payment terms is what let us say seven days now. So now the next day itself I send it and then within three days it is going to not come. So I will now send a mail to the payables department and then they are now going to reduce pay. Now. Fine. This happens for very many reasons. Now. Fine. Thousand eight hundred. I am now going to pay only thousand eight hundred now. Thousand eight hundred I am going to pay. So thousand eight hundred. Uh, I know you thousand nine hundred, na na thousand nine hundred. So thousand nine hundred, I'm going to pay. Thousand nine hundred. So hundred quantity is not there. Three thousand nine hundred. So this will happen because of very many reasons actually. <clears throat> so one of the reason is what the requester is not satisfied with some of the quantities actually. Or otherwise, what happens? The purchase officer would have told the supplier that you have to supply the GST registration details. He told that within two days time I will not supply. Send it. But he has not sent it. So the purchase officer will now send a mail to the payable club. Please hold some hundred quantities because the GST registration is not done. And then during negotiation, what happens? Is they would like to see whether the supplier is having a hundred thousand uh, yearly turnover actually. For which what happens? Is the purchase officer would have asked, please submit your profit and loss statement as well as the balance sheet and then the taxes paid. Supplier says, okay, I will now send it so. So he has not obliged. So because of very many reasons. What happens? Is the entire available quantity is not paid at all. This happens in many companies. What happens? Is the two thousand quantity is not paid right? because of very many reasons. So here uh, we are now simulating one of the reasons. Fine. So this is the biggest problem in the industry. So out of two thousand, one thousand nine hundred is only paid at a rate of two. Fine. Click on OK. So click on OK. Click on OK. And then click on OK. Apply. And then click on OK. It's all done now. <clears throat> it's not done. Okay. So three thousand eight hundred, and then it is doing, along with the taxes actually. Okay. So I will now give a save now. If I click on save, and then I will see what are the transactional taxes for this. So his invoice will be having three thousand eight hundred plus taxes actually. Okay. So taxes is not coming. So let us now validate and then see whether any tax amount is coming or not because it is all location based taxes. And then our location will not have any taxes at all. Okay. So go there. So go there. Go to the invoice actions and go to validate. So it will not probably will not have any taxes. I remember hundred quantities are not paid at all. Hundred quantities is not paid. It is now withdrawn. Withdrawn. So it is not done now. Fine. It is not validated. So now we will now do the credit accounting at the payables. So that. So it is not done. Afterwards, you have to pay. You have to make a payment. So payment to the next class. Fine. So we will not worry about the payment. Fine. The distributions are now created. We have now created the distribution, and then it is also validated. So it has now relieved out of four thousand quantities. Three thousand, one thousand nine hundred, two thousand quantities, one thousand nine hundred quantities have been relieved. Hundred quantities is now kept as. Let us now go there. So let us now do the what is called credit accounting. We are going to do the credit accounting. There only in the invoice action you can do, no? Invoice actions we go there. I will now do the credit accounting. Post to ledger. Yeah. Post to ledger. Post to ledger. Okay. Uh, post to ledger. Fine. Do that. So I will now yeah. go to the post to ledger, and then I will now do the what credit accounting. So I am now going to do the credit accounting. I will now do the credit accounting. Fine. Do that. So accounting is complete. Fine. Click on OK now. Fine. No. Accounting is completed. If you click on the validated hyperlink, it will now say it is validated as well as accounted also. Now we will now push this data into the costing area. Fine, it is now validated in the accounted. We are going to push it to the costing area. Fine, so we will now go to this place. I will now push it to the costing area. Fine, click on the home icon, on the star icon, and then I go to the monitor process, and then I will now push it to the costing. Area. Before pushing, uh, what is the status? Uh, can you show, Nana? Status where you want to see now. The status is what validated in accounted. Thousand nine hundred is paid actually. After it just shows unpaid, Nana says somewhere. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't it is matter. okay. It is unpaid means what? It's okay. From our side, it is okay. Fine, doesn't matter. Payment is unpaid. It is okay. But it is accounted actually. From our costing perspective, it is okay. We can very well push this transaction into the costing area. So this one yeah, in the costing not ready area, for payment actually. Yeah, costing area status. I want to know before pushing. I don't know how to see that now. The costing area. I don't know how to see it. But I know only how to push it into the costing area. I don't know how to see that status actually. So, 
I don't know. So click on scheduling process. Let us know. Avinash is back. Uh, Avinash, have any idea? Avinash, are you there? Yeah, Avinash is back. Avinash, how to see the what happens uh, in the costing area before pushing into costing? We want to see the accounting area. That is what you're saying. Uh, accounting for the invoices or the yeah, accounted. It is not accounted. Fine. If you click on the accounted, what happens? It will not show you the accounting. The T mm -hmm. invoice validated from the accrual to liability. So accrual to liability has been hit now. Fine. The three thousand eight hundred three thousand has come. The accounts of uh, profit accounts has come over again. What else, uh, Prabhu? Can you want now? Prabhu, what do you before, want? Now uh, it is. I'm not going to push into the cost area now. Uh, before pushing, what is the status in? Uh, status of what? It is accounted. Area. Accrual to liability has already gone. Now, fine. Accrual is debited. Fine. Out of four thousand accrual in PO, three thousand eight hundred has been debited in AP now. PO's accrual is what four thousand on this area. Thank you, Monet. In this area, if you go on and see, four thousand has got credited. Out of which three thousand is debited actually. So two hundred is balanced actually. So if you make a match between PO accrual and then AP accrual, there is a difference of two hundred. When you make a match between PO accrual and then the AP accrual, so there is a two hundred dollars difference there. Fine, how four hundred quantities? Four hundred quantities, two hundred dollars is the difference actually. So click on it. So it is all done yeah. now. I just want to see in the PO area, you know. In the PO, it will not show anything at all. It will not show anything in the PO. Fine, it is all come in the costing area only. Okay. Now I go to the monetary area, and then I will now run what transfer cost to cost management. Transfer percentage and cost to percentage. Cost to percentage. Transfer cost to cost management will now transfer whatever has been accounted on your AP area into the costing area. Fine. Transfer. So there are three types. Nana, for pushing. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Nana, for pushing to costing, uh, accounting is accounted should be the status for AP invoice or uh, even after validate. No, accounting is not. Ah, distribution. Distribution is a okay. You know we have accounted it. Accounting is not a mandatory okay. for pushing to costing, but distribution should have been created actually. Okay. Okay. Distribution is the mandate. Okay. This this is to this is to impact the cost of an item. For that purpose, we are pushing it to the costing. Yeah. You see, now the AP accrual is for two thousand quantities at four thousand dollars, and then the your PO accrual. The AP accrual is at three thousand nine hundred eighty quantities, five hundred quantities less actually. So there is a mismatch. Okay. There is a mismatch that is going to be sensed in our system. We are going to see sensed. Okay. So we are now pushing the distribution, whatever has been created in the AP into the costing area. Tell me. Nana sir, before we submit this, can you please check the cost at this point for this product? Cost. See, cost will come into the cost accounting area, not in the receipt accounting area. Yeah, can we go and check that, sir? No, so we that are we... not yet done anything on the costing. Now, fine. Cost accountancy okay. has not been done at all. The have... area is not done at all. So we only push the, the data into the costing area, but we have never done any costing at all on this. Sir, you have done uh, costing at the time of receiving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a receipt cost will be there. Receipt cost will not be changed at all. Does it cost will be an only at two dollars? Because we are, so, I think we are having average costing. Uh, in average this. costing, of course, average costing only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this point, it should have certain cost. So we just wanted to check if hey, no, after fine, fine. You, if you go to the receiving yeah. accounting, fine, brother. If you go on and look at the receiving, fine, you'll not have it now, fine. But if you no, go, I just want to see the product cost. Product cost will come only in cost management, not on the receipt. Yeah, so yeah, the receipt, what, review receipt accounting distribution. You can now see the cost of the receiving. So item starts with you know say it is a P zero one zero one. That is understood, sir. That is understood. Well, cost accounting is not yet done, na. Fine, we are not even done the costing. Then no, only sir, we, the cost so here you can see the purchase quality. order cost is now two dollars in the receiving area. Understood, sir. Just under trying no, to understand. You want to see the, the item cost right now. You want to see right. the item cost right, right item now. Cost. Fine. That yes, is two dollars yes, because we have made a miscellaneous receipt, na. We made a miscellaneous yes, receipt for hundred quantities two cost. That will be the item cost now. Let's check that, sir. That will be there, fine. Because that is the previous exercise which you done now, fine. Before this, fine. Go to the supervision exhibition. No, sir. My understanding is that the receiving also impacts the average cost. That's no what way, no way, no way. So right, right now because the cost from the initial. Go to the item cost. Review only, item cost. So I'm not going to go to the review item cost on the month. Fine, brother. So I will now say item starts with fine. Brother, starts with I now say T zero one zero one. Fine, brother. It will be two dollars only, fine. Because hundred quantities have been received at two dollars, so it will be showing only two dollars. The receipt accounting will not have any impact on this item cost at all. It will not have any impact at all. Only when you perform your cost accounting distribution, then only it will be having an impact. Only upon. Okay, so you. Okay, sir. So it means you have not done that cost accounting distribution at the time. We are not done it. No, we are not done it. We are not. Okay. The receipt okay. accounting. We are not discussing only on the receipt accounting. 
ओके सर ओके सर थैंक यू यू गो टू द मॉनिटर एंड देन यू विल नॉट ट्रांसफर कॉस्ट टू कॉस्ट मैनेजर एंड ट्रांसफर कॉस्ट ओके सो व्हाटएवर हैज बीन कॉस्टेड ऑन द एपीस एरिया फाइन द इनवॉइस इज नाउ कॉस्टेड फाइन सेकंड ओके सो क्लिक ऑन इट नो रनिंग सो नो द बिजनेस यूनिट इज व्हाट टी01 उंटिंग Now the cost to cost management is now running from EAP into the interface area of receipt accounting. Fine, it is now transferred. Now. So now tell me what is the next activity I have to do? Now? What I have to do? it is now come into the interface area of receipt accounting. EAP to interface area is now come. So what I have to do next now? What I have to do next? Anybody? <clears throat> If you go there, I will now go to the receipt accounting area. Fine, it is now come to the receipt accounting. Fine, supply chain accounting, and then I go to the receipt. No, sir. One question here: since you are paying uh, uh, to supplier less because of that, you are running this process. Otherwise, it's not required. Uh, pushing AP interface to receiving. No, no, no. It will always be a continuous process. It will all be running on a periodic machine. Because you already once you received it, you already ran a costing for receipt accounting. You already run. Yeah. Once Now it has come into the interface area. Now, whichever is coming under the interface area of uh, what happens, receipt accounting, you have to do it. So okay. Okay. Right. So now this much of a data, three thousand eight hundred has come into the receipt account. So we have to create the distribution again. Okay. You will not create a distribution. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nana, I have one question. Quick question, Nana. Yeah. The Hello? AP data has now come into the what happens? The interface tables of receipt accounting. We have to bring it to the base accounting. Account. Tell me. Ah, uh, yeah, right. The you executed receipt accounting as well as the costing accounting. Cost okay. accounting, we are ready to come now. Fine, don't worry about the cost accounting. We'll not. Oh, okay, okay, but uh, while you are running the cost accounting, the costing period will be taken care. Yeah, but while running the receiving accounting, which there period is no period be... at all. Receipt accounting do not have any period at all. But it will create the journals, right? Yeah, it And will create the journal entry for the receiving. Receipt for which period it will create the journal entry? I don't know about that. Fine, you talk to your financial guy <laughs> because it doesn't have any periods at all. And which period at all I don't know. Fine, but it will not create the journal entries also. Okay. Okay. I think the journal entry should be created for the AP period, right? Uh... I don't know. Fine. You see, when I pushed it from uh, the gate entry into the costing mm -hmm. area, it has run the what happens the journals also. Fine, AP is not done at all, and that that portion at all you talk to financials. No, no. So let us now do the create accounting because the data from AP has now landed up on the interface table. So receipt accounting and click on receipt accounting distribution. I am not going to do it. I am going to do it. Is on three zero one. I am going to do a tab. No, no. I am going to do a tab. And click on submit. So we have now hundred quantities less actually. And then that will be reflecting over here as an unmatched accrual balance. It will now come as an unmatched accrual balance. I am going to do that. It will now go to space. So it is now come into the base tables of receipt accounting. Import transactions are running. So this is basically the data which is now coming from AP. We are now bringing the base tables. So click on it. We are now going to bring it to the base tables. We are now bringing it to the base tables. So this will now bring it to the base tables. The data which is now come. Previously the data came from uh, what happens? Inventory is received according from the gate area. Now the data has now come from AP's uh, what happens? The distribution creation afterwards is now come. So once when you run the Transfer cost to cost management from AP to the interface table is compiled. That is now creating it. Also. So the sub process, the journal sub process will be running now. So the sub process will be done. Is it accounting distributions? And then the sub process will be done. Now we are going to match the PO accrual to AP accrual. Fine. Once when you match it. The unbalanced accrual will not show you. This is the PO accrual, and this is the AP accrual, and then we are going to run a match program. So once when you run the match, it will now say hundred quantities worth two hundred dollars is not matched at all. It is now still pending. So go there to connect. Not to connect. So create receipt accounting distribution sub process is now running. Fine. Once when everything is complete, everything has got completed. Fine. Go there. So we'll now go to the receipt accounting area. Fine. And then if you click on refresh, also what happens? I don't think anything will be coming. Fine. Go there. So nothing is coming. Let us now do the match. Once when you match it, the unmatched accrual balances will be getting populated. So click on it. We'll now go there. We'll now match it. 
So there's a thing called match receipt accruals. This is between PO accrual and then the AP accrual. Fine. Accrual reconciliation, I'm going to find. Click on the match receipt accruals. Match receipt accruals. So I will not put this one. Fine. So TV don't want to do that. So dates, it is a very important one. Fine. I will not say, for, they normally do this month wise now. Fine. And the month wise, they will not. Fine. Click on submit. So I'm not going to match it now. Fine. Click on submit. You know, matching it and then getting the unmatched one. There's no running here. You go to the monitor process and then see that the match is not happening. So between the AP accrual and then the PO accrual, we are matching and then identifying. It. So 100 quantities worth of $200 is not in paid actually. Match receipt accrual, sub process is not running. So you have not passed. Once when it is completed, what happens? It will be reflecting on the unmatched balances actually. If you go there, if I click on refresh now, you will not find the unmatched accrual balances. So click on refresh. So go there to monitor. It now shows you the unmatched accrual. So 3.8K, fine. So this is the accounts payables match. Blue symbol is account payables match. And then the receipt is what? 4K. So the difference is what? This is the one. So here, this is the biggest area where the purchasing managers has to concentrate actually. AP is now 3. Point, the AP accrual is 3.8K, whereas the PO accrual is 4K. The difference is what? 0.2. Sometimes once when the difference reaches around 20,000 or 30,000 US dollars, management will now raise an alarm to the purchasing managers as well as the payables managers. Fine. Come on, bring it to zero or minimal. Fine. This difference has to be brought down to minimal by the purchasing managers and payables managers because this difference is happening because supplier is not repaired and then send it on time. So that is why we are not paid. So supplier has not provided you either GST uh, registration details, we are not paid. Supplier has not given you what happens is your profit and loss statement and balance sheet, we are not paid. There are so many reasons because of which we will not pay at all. So if once when this comes to a huge amount, the management will not raise a lot because we owe various suppliers, let's say $50,000, we may not be having cash when everything becomes okay now. So that is why what happens is they want to write it off. Right? Please write off. Right? Once it is written off, then it is no more what happens our liability to pay the suppliers at all. Right? This 0.2K has to be written off. So we are going to write it off now. So the one. So if you click on this now, fine. If you click on the unmatched accrual balances, fine. Click on it. It will not show you this now. Fine. Click on the manage accrual balances. It will not show you this now. Fine. It will not show you thousand nine hundred quantity. Fine. Seven hundred one. Fine. All these inspection, everything is not coming. On the right hand side, what happens? It will not show you. Remember, uh, this match is quantity based now. Fine. Represented in money actually. Minus two hundred is coming. Always will be coming in minus now. Fine. So item price is all coming. Fine. So here, what happens? The quantity is a very important one. Is a paramount importance. Fine. The quantity. Quantity difference, fine. So, the one fine quantity difference is 100. Now. This is of an important one as far as accruals are concerned. Accruals are quantity based, represented in money now. Net invoice is 1900. The difference is 100 quantities. Now. So, if you have come to the screen via what? Via the uh, info letter. So, that is why there is no action at all. If you are coming to the screen via info letter, you will not have any action at all. Fine, go that We will not take an action. Fine, also. So when you come via info to that place, what happens? You will not be having action button. But here, what happens? You go there, click on it. You will not take an action via what? Audit the results. So we are going to audit the accrual clearing. We are not going to clear it now. Thank you, it. We are going to clear it now. Thank you, it. Audit clearing. I go to click on audit. <clears throat> so now they will not discuss with the supplier. Thank you. The bill to be business unit starts with. Thank you. Thank you. The bill to be business unit. So the T01 is the one. Thank you. Thank you. And then go there. Profits under business unit. One of them make a search. Now, fine. Click on search. If you search for it, it will not show you all the unpaid accruals. Now, fine. This much is accrued for this. Now, fine. It will not show you POAs actually. It will not show you POAs. Now, the management has decided that we will not write off this 200. Fine. We will not pay him at all. Fine. We won't write it. So, select it. And then we will not, we'll not do it. Now, fine. Go there. So, we will not have what? An action. An action button is not coming. Go there. Search is there. So, go there. Okay. Audit is only for looking at it. Fine. Both the audit as well as the, this thing is the only for looking at it. Fine, okay. So this audit, fine, click on it. This audit receipt accrual as well as this one, if you click on it, it will not end and it will not go to adjust now. In the accrual cleaning, you have to go to adjust now. So it is only going to show you. Fine. This will not have any action button now. If you click on it or if you click on it, whatever. So both of them will not have any action button. Fine. We can only query now. Fine, okay. We can only query it now. Fine, click on it. T01, I'm going to query now. Click on T01. Then click on search. Fine. Click on search. So once you query, what happens? It will not show. It will only show you. Fine. PO wise, it will not show you everything, including all the distributions and nothing. Now we are going to write off hundred quantities actually. Hundred quantities we are going to write off. So here, what happens? You go there. So this is not the place to take an action actually. So you click on it, and then here, what happens? You go to adjust receipt accrual balances. I'm going to adjust. So once when I adjust it, the point two will be coming as a write off actually. 
So one's going to do it, whatever the point will be coming as a write-off. So the main job of a procurement manager plus a payables manager is what? Yellow must be very minimal or zero. Zero is impossible. And then uh, my students say that if it has uh, gone beyond, uh, let us say, $200,000 or something like that, the management will now ask them to sit day and night and then what happens, uh, talk to the supplier and then see, are they going to provide whatever has been asked for or not? If they are not still not responding, it write it off. Fine. Don't keep it as such. Fine. Write it off. Tell you what you say. So go to the adjust receipt accrual balances. Fine. Come on. I'm not going to adjust it now. Fine. Come on. Receipt accrual balances. I'm going to adjust it. Okay. So I will now go on and query here now. Fine. Come on. The, the building unit, whatever. I will now say start with. Fine. Go to that point. I will now say P01. Fine. Go to that point. And then I can even put some like. And then how much of aging is very important. Now? Fine. Which has aged beyond 20 days, only you do it. Fine. Or otherwise 80 days or 30 days. Fine. Go that. Now, in this case, what happens? I will not give all. Okay? Because now oh, it has not aged for this much of a day. Is now, fine? So they will now normally consider only whichever has been aged for 180 days, you write down. Fine? Not like this. Okay? Now, for our understanding, we are not doing it all. Thank you. And then the supplier is empty. Fine? Click on search now. It will now say supplier is empty. Fine? It will now give you a large amount of results. Okay, it doesn't matter. Fine? Click on yes. Now, fine? Even the supplier is empty, it doesn't matter. Thank you. And now it will show it. Now. And then in the adjust one, we will now have an action. Now. And the previous area, it is not having an action. Fine? Select it and then you know, write it off. So we know it is a right of good actions and then adjust the balances. So click on the adjust balances. I'm going to adjust the balance. So reason is what? Supplier. <clears throat> Supplier has not provided <clears throat> balance sheet. So that is the reason what happens we are not doing it. So the reason must be very proper so that later on, once when you take a report on these adjustments, they will now know but why they are adjusted. It's now written off. Now, this is now written off. It is now written off. Accrual adjustments were processed. There is no process. So, here, what happens if you go there? It is no process. If you go to the next tab region, fine. the open accrual, fine. if you go to the accrual balances, next tab region, here it will not show what I was going to do. I will not say it starts with, and then go there. It is what? T01. Fine. T01 in the tab. Fine. Click on search. So, you are searching for it. This has been processed. Actually. 200 has been processed. There is going to be more now. So, you know. So if you go there, click on done now, and then we'll know what happens. You go there. So if you go on and refresh it, the accrual write-off will be coming. Fine. Click on it. Now see how much has been written off. So two hundred dollars has been written off. So two hundred dollars has been written off. Now, if the supplier says, "Now what happens? I am not giving you back." Fine. You know, not saying, "Okay, I will not give you." He is not giving this. No, fine. He will not go to the adjust receivable accrual. Fine. Go there. He will not go to this place. Fine. Go there. Now he is not giving the balance sheet. No query for it. I click on store. No, fine, so it is a D01 of the one thing that have. <clears throat> and I click on search. No, fine, click on search. No searching for it. No, like, so he's saying, okay, sir, I have not given the balance sheet. So now we are going to reverse this. No, fine, reverse this adjustment. Fine, select the line and then click on the reverse adjustment. Fine, click on the reverse adjustment. So before reversing it, what happens? I will now uh, run a report. Fine, okay. They will, what they will do is they will now run a reconciliation report every day. Fine, so happens, accrual. Accrual. Reconciliation report they will not run on every day basis. On every basis, they will not run. So, on the day, how much has been written off? And then it will not show you PO wise actually. Business unit is what? I will not say P01 and then give it a So, there is a business unit. And then the transaction date is very important. I will not say first to what happens, they will not run it. So, on the 30th, running. Come click on something. I am not running it for the business unit. So, I will not run. So, this reconciliation report will not tell you they run it on a daily basis actually. On the evening, how much they have discussed with how many suppliers, and then it will now give you a complete reconciliation report. So, based upon which they will now set a target of how much to write off tomorrow. So, it is already what $200 is now written off. So, I'm not doing it. No, sir, I have a question. One second. One second. Let me go there. So, $200 is written off. Fine. This will now come on this report, actually. Yeah, tell me. No, sir, once we do the write off for $200, what happens to the purchase order in this case? Purchase Quantity order is already received, fully received. Uh, for, is it already? Yeah, four thousand dollars, two hundred quantities is received, but we are not paying two hundred all because supplier has not met with the financial deems requirement or the requester's requirement. Actually, it is written off. Okay, 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 understood. Okay, accrual reconciliation report. We go there. You will not publish it. Reconciliation, accrual reconciliation report. When you uh, write off the two hundred uh, items, dollars, Nana, yeah, you cannot create an invoice. No, we cannot create the invoice at all. If it is written, you cannot create an invoice at all. Mm -hmm. For the two hundred dollars, you cannot create. It. Because it's written off. So no, no, one th if the supplier asks for the material to be returned back to him in this case, can he ask that? I mean, uh, I mean, these are all process where you will not reverse the adjustment. 
if he is not meeting the requirement of it, let us say we are not sending to him for repair, and then he told that you know 24 hours I will not give you. After 72 hours only we return off. Fine. Now after 96 hours he is coming, sir. I have returned back. So maaf karo yar isko fine. Bej do, paisa de do. Fine. That was what happened. The request will not send me. Now what happens? They will not reverse the adjustment, and then they will not pay. So reversal will happen at any time. The purpose of punishing is what? To only correct the supplier's action. The purpose is only to correct. If you are writing it off and then sending a message to them that it is written off, they will not come running and then they will not oblige all the company's requirement action. So that what happens? We'll also have what happens? How much is the liability still pending? And some suppliers will run away actually. So for such suppliers also, one-time one suppliers, they will not give a wrong item and then 50% advance they would have taken and then the remaining they have not uh, what happens? They have done it or they have not given a wrong material. You will not write off those things. They will never even come back to you also. But there are so many such cases to be happening. I can click on the PDF now. I'm not going to export it. I'm not exporting it. So, Nana, when we write up uh, some of the amount uh, against the invoice, uh, uh, in those cases, does the item cost uh, impacts uh, in case of average cost? Item cost? Well, I don't know. Fine, it's a good question now. <laughs> we'll not see what happens now in the item cost. So, go okay. there. So, here, what happens? You cannot see. This is the way accrual reconciliation report will be printed every day. If you write it, what happens? It will not show PO wise. For this PO, fine, you cannot see the PO wise accrual. Fine, click on it. On this PO, you can now see what I mean. The PO accrual balance is 4,000. The payables accrual balance is 3,800. And then the net accrual balance is 200. Now, fine, that is written off. Fine, it will not show you this now. Fine. PO wise, it will not show you all the transactions, whatever has happened, and then how much has been written off. Everything will not show you. Fine. So, what is, so these are the important details on a PO wise. Fine. There will be some 50 or 60 POs here now. So, they will not wait. Fine. The balance is not showing as minus 200. But it has been written off. So, the accrual reconciliation report will be printed on a daily basis for a particular period, actually. Fine. We have to choose the period. Fine. I have not chosen a complete month period. So, they will not even choose a week period and then do it. Fine. The complete month period has been done. They will not choose a week period and then they will not. And then this will now give a good idea to the management about how much has been written off. And then what, happens, what are the next action they will do? They will not again contact the supplier. Only when the supplier comes back, we will now reverse the adjustment. Action. So, go there, click on it. We'll not close it off. And this is a big, uh, what happens, a tedious job. That is what my students say. Because this will be given to the procurement managers plus payables managers, right? the top management. And then they will not do it. Only the ch chota chota people will now sit and then they will not talk. The management, the bigger people will never talk to the supplier at all. Right? The, uh, the, but the procurement manager will not talk. Only the lower level, and then they will now ask the consultants, fine, you are going to implement it. They will now put the load on you. Fine, that way it will not work. It is a very laborious task, task now in the field, actually. And then people do it. Fine. You have to do it. And no other go. Now, what I do is I have not decided to reverse it now. Fine. I will not go that click on it. Now go to this place. I will not reverse this right up now. Now he has no he has no supply. I will not go to this place. So the accrual reconciliation report also can be printed. Fine. I will not go to the adjust receipt. So when you go to the audit or if you click on any of these balances, it will not give you an action button. An action button will not be coming. Only on the adjust, the action button will be there. So go to the adjust button. Fine. So I will not go there. Click on it. I will not give a start. Fine. So I will not say P01. <clears throat> P01 and then click on search. Don't show you. Fine. Well, nothing is there actually. Fine. Click on it. Fine. Nothing is there. And more than, I will not say one. Oh, I will search on all actually. <clears throat> We had such on all. Click on all. So there is nothing there because it is already adjusted now. There is nothing pending. Nothing is there. So I will now go to the adjustment approval and then I will now reverse it actually. So go to the adjustment. Let me reverse the adjustment. So click on it. I will now say start with what happens at T01. So click on search. So go there, select it, and then click on the reverse adjustment. Click on reverse it. I will now give what happens the supplier. Uh, give balance sheet. This reasoning is very, very important because what happens is why you reversed it later on, they will not analyze it. So the reasoning is very important. If you go there, click on it, it will not come back here. So the open accrual, if it is coming, then it can be paid. If it is adjusted, it will not come. So the open accrual is come. And click on the now. Now you cannot see the accrual would have been what happens. If you click on the refresh now, the accrual right off will not go. Now, this is not the way they do it actually because manually doing it is very, very difficult because there will be some hundreds of purchase orders. So what they will do is they will not write a rule actually. And one of my financial guy told me about how to write the rule. Right? Rule writing is really very complicated actually. 
so he taught me one example only he told me that whatever i am giving you is an example yeah manager accrual clearing rules of function order he is not, he told me about how one one example of a clearing and order there are many ways of clearing it so i will not put i will not go to this place now i click on cancel okay i will not go to the manager accrual clearing rules rule writing is really a very tough task for them fine order so i will not go to the manager accrual clearing rules so he has given me one paper fine i will not kept it over there fine click on it i will not show you now fine order i will not go to the main one I will now go to the Oracle CM training. Now, fine. And then here, what happens? I will now go to the fusion proof. Oh, and then go to the number four. Now, fine. Like so there is something on the fifties now. On the fifties, there is a document called the write-off. Now, fine. Accrual write-off rule. Ah, reconciliation rules. So fifty-six is the reconciliation rules on additional docs records four. This has been given by one of the financial guys. So go there. With this, what happens? I am now going to write the rules. Write rule writing is is a very tough one. So. we have to discuss with them and what is the policy of writing or writing of your design fine click on it i will click on it you know what happens to go that is the one thank you so accrual reconciliation rule so let us now create this rule i am not going to create the rule okay guys so the business unit is what t01 and then give a tap the business unit is coming fine click on the go icon so click on the go icon now i am now going to create what a rule for uh, writing the reconciliation there no come what so click on plus now fine i will now make what a simple general rule thank you general <clears throat> remember you must be good in adf actually if you are not good in adf you will not be able to write it right? every time he can he can tell you a scenario and then what happens the technical team will now give you this now all these things will be given by the technical team right? so if you have different different scenarios they will now give you complete value what you have to fill up now so you must be good in java now adf actually adf is a must so go that i am not going to give a re condition right? accrual line dot accrual amount difference right? Let's say let me just go there. So click on plus one. Simple test. And then drop down. Fine. Click on the magnifier icon. And then I am going to do it. Accrual line. What? What happens? If the difference, fine. Accrual amount difference. Fine. Go there. So click on it. Accrual line. And then accrual amount difference. Fine. Go there. Accrual amount difference. I am going to go down. It will be here somewhere. So accrual amount difference. <clears throat> Where is it there? And now I have joined. Cross it or what? Accrual line dot accrual amount difference. You must see from the beginning now. Right? Accrual line dot accrual amount. I said there is something called a received accrual amount. No, accrual no, amount. Same, the same thing will be coming. Accrual amount difference exactly. Accrual amount difference. Accrual clear amount. I did the one. So in this one, what happens? I will not choose the long value. I will not choose the long value. So long value. So, if the difference between the AP accrual and PO accrual, that is what is fine. Right? So, go there. Click on it. So, go there. Is in between now. I will not choose in between now. Right? Click on it. I will not say in between. So, we will not give a range now. Right? If it is in between, what happens? We will not clear all now. Right? Fine. Right? So, in this case, I have got how much? Uh, we have got minus two hundred, isn't it? Fine. Right? I will not put a big value. Now. So, I will not say minus three hundred to plus three hundred. I will not click on the magnifier. Click on the magnifier, and then it is what it is within quotes actually. Fine, minus three hundred. Fine, within quotes, and then here, what happens? You go there within quotes. Fine, three hundred. <clears throat> fine, go there. Click on okay. So it has to be within quotes actually. If you go and see, fine, it must be within quotes. So if the difference is between these things, write it off. And what happens? One more thing. Fine, only when the line is invoiced. If line is not invoiced, then you should not write it off. Fine, go there. line must be invoice so the invoice accrual amount must be greater than zero that means what the line is invoiced fine so only after invoicing we can do the write off fine so that is the second condition okay accrual line dot invoice accrual amount fine so click on plus now fine click on plus and then simple test and then go there click on it and then all that so these are some of the kind you told me only one example now fine there will be multiple examples on this now fine you are saying fine go there so here what am i going to say accrual line dot invoice accrual amount We go to the invoice accrual amount. Right? Click on it. Invoice accrual amount. <clears throat> go there. So click on it. I will now go to what invoice accrual amount. This is the one. Right? Invoice accrual amount. It must be greater than zero. Right? Then that means what? It is invoiced actually. Right? And go there. I will now choose the long value. Right? Thank you. You know that. And go there. So here, what I was going to say what is more than zero. Right? And go there. So click on it. I will now say more than. And then again, I will now put the, the double quote. Right? Double quote zero. Double quote. So, if these two conditions are met, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write off. Right? For writing off, what happens? You have to pass on certain parameters. Fine. Click on drop down, and the asset new is the one. Fine. So, in this case, he told me that there are six parameters to be passed. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fine. These three. Fine. 
So here, what happens? Accrual, accrual, clear amount. Thank you. Go there. So click on it. I will not say. Uh, I will not go there. Click on it. So here, what happens? The first thing is what asset new, and then clear accruals. Fine. So then is what clear accruals. Go there. Go there. I will not drop down. I will not choose the clear accruals. Clear accruals. I am not choosing it. And then this editing is coming. Fine. These are all the parameters you are going to pass now. Fine. Click on it. You are going to pass on six parameters actually. Accrual clear amount is the parameter we have to pass now. Fine. For this case, Fine. accrual clear amount is accrual line dot accrual clear amount. It is what is called accrual line dot accrual clear amount. We are going to pass it now. Accrual line dot accrual clear amount. Fine. How much you have to clear actually? Accrual clear amount. You are passing it now. Fine. Accrual clear amount. Fine. Expand it. And then choose the long value. Click on OK. And the next is what first parameter. Next is what rule name within double quotes. No, fine. I don't know that accrual rule name fine. within double quotes. Fine. Double quotes. Fine. It is a, a rule one. You can now see on the left hand side. It is now rule one. No, fine. It is already one. Fine. I know that. So second parameter is now passed. Fine. So the third one is what AP accrual amount. No, fine. I don't know the AP accrual amount. Fine. I will not click on the magnifier. This is the third one parameter. So AP accrual amount is what accrual line dot total invoice accrual amount. <coughs> Accrual line dot total invoice accrual amount. So total invoice accrual amount is the one fine. I'm going to do it and go to the long value. Click on the long value. So click on OK. This is the, what happens. So we are now given three parameters. Three more parameters has to be passed now. Next is what? AP accrual amount. Now fine. I'm going to go to the AP accrual amount. So next is blank. And then I go to the AP accrual amount. Fine. AP accrual amount. Where is the one? Fine. Uh, AP accrual amount we already filled up. No? AP accrual amount we have filled up. Next is what? CMR accrual amount. Along with the CMR accrual amount. So click on the magnifier. CMR accrual amount. So here we have to pass what? Accrual line dot total receipt accrual. So invoice accrual and receipt accrual, it will not do the subtraction actually. They are not passing on this one. Accrual line dot total receipt accrual amount. Total receipt accrual amount. So go down. Total receipt accrual amount. So total receipt accrual amount fine go there. I will not pass on this value. So we are now given four now. Two more to be given now. Fine, go there. So this is what CMR PO distribution ID. Fine. So PO, CMR PO distribution ID fine go there. Click on it. I will not go to that. What else? Click on it. I will not go there. So CMR PO distribution ID we go there. So this is what accrual line dot purchase order distribution ID where? Accrual line dot purchase order distribution ID is available there in the bottom also. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will not choose the long one. Long value. So click on OK now. <clears throat> you know and then under the final one, and the next one is what? The final one is what? CMRPO line location ID. So accrual line dot purchase order schedule identifier. Fine, go there. So this is the one line location ID. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will not click on this now. Fine, go there. <clears throat> so accrual line dot what happens? It will not say what? You know, go there. It is a purchase order schedule identifier. Fine. Purchase order schedule identifier. Now go there. Click on so purchase order schedule identifier. <clears throat> This is the one right? expand it. So we have now filled up all the six values. And remember, these parameters will now vary depending upon the if condition actually. So depending upon the if condition, something something else has to be passed on. Fine. Click on OK. Fine. The rule is made now. It is a generic rule. Fine. Now we are going to validate the rule. We are going to validate the rule. So once when you validate the rule, all of them is passed. Fine. For these two if conditions, we are now going to clear the accrual for these parameters. We are now passing on these parameters. Fine. Click on validate. Fine. Click on validate. So once when it is validated, it will now say no validation errors or warnings found. Otherwise, you had to correct the errors. Actually. Something is coming from there. So click on save and then give a save and close. The rule is written. And he says that writing rule is not an easy task, it's a Herculean task. Is what I'm saying. Now we will not run the rule now because it will now go to pick up everything based upon your if conditions and then your clear accruals. So we'll not go there. Click on it. We'll not run the rule now. Now you can see our write off will not come over here now. Fine. Once again, fine. Click on the clear receipt accrual rule. Fine. Click on the clear receipt accrual balances. I'm going to pick on it. Now go there. So I will not go there. Click on it. I am not running the rule actually. So I am not running the rule. So here, what happens if you go there? In the accrual clearing, I am not running the rule. Fine. The rule has been created yet. I will not go to the clear receipt accrual balances. Now, fine. Click on it. I will not run it. Fine. So there is a T01. I know that's my dad. I'm going there. So click on submit now. So click on submit now. Fine. Submit is not up. <clears throat> it's not up. So go there. Well, now wait for the process to complete. Now, fine. Click on it. The process is now getting completed. And remember the if condition and then the passing of the parameters. There are multiple combinations which are available in the financial section because writing the because they will have hundreds and hundreds of lines only with a rule. We can clear everything in one go actually, and they will have different conditions and scenarios on which how we can clear actually. So, writing the rule, you should have a ADF knowledge actually. Otherwise, you must have the technical guys to come and help you. 
it is all written now fine everything is not done fine so you know go there click on it you will now see that the 200 will be coming over you know fine click on refresh now fine now see the 200 will now come the 200 has come now now it will now clearly say but because the rule has got clear now fine click on it you will now go to this place you will now go to the adjust receipt according balances fine go that you want and then if you go to the adjust accrual balances it will now say the rule has cleared it fine go that i will now say start with fine go that it is the t01 and that app and then click on search now it now clearly says that the rule is clear and go that is on there has been clear now fine go that go 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 here what is it rule one auto auto accrual clearing auto accrual clear now so this completes the activity on receipt accounting and then the receipt accounting reconciliation then again what happens you have to run the distribution fine after having done this what happens will now run the distribution so once the distribution is now made fine whatever whatever has been done all of it so the biggest daunting task is what bring the yellow line to minimal actually fine you have to adjust it and then what happens finally bring it everything over here now so this is basically yeah, what happens payables accrual and then this is the purchase order accrual so the difference will always be there and then because of which what happens the payables the managers as well as the procurement managers as to sit together and then clear all the accruals so this completes your receipt accounting now if you are fully understood can you put a green tick mark if you are what happens uh, what happens somewhat understood you can put a go slow and then if you are finding it very difficult you can put x mark and we'll see how you are finding it out no no sir without rule can we do auto clear uh... no 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 with the rule only we can clear okay only with the right sir, rule then sir. what happens it will be clearing otherwise without the rule it will not clear anything at all okay you have to have the rule in place fine fantastic Fine. Guhanath has understood. Karuna has understood fully. Fine. Please note down the names. They will be of a great help when you go to the field actually, because accrual reconciliation is a big, big topic in the field actually. It is a laborious task. You have to talk to the suppliers and then what happens? They do the reconciliation actually. <clears throat> fine. Good. So what about others? No. Fine. If you are feeling what happens, it's okay. You can even say with the go slow icon. No. Fine. I know that it is a very difficult one. Fine. Good. No, so, this is very useful now. Mm, you understood a lot. Huh? Most useful things for mm. use again for interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can they can provide it as a my real time real time this. Very good. Very useful this. Please try to share some of this type of case now for us. Good then fine yeah. It's a very important one, and then you have to know this, and then rule writing we have to practice with the help of financials. So they will now give you different scenarios for writing the rules. Actually. If this is the scenario, what happens? Sir? We have to write a rule like this, fine, like this. Because without a manually doing the what happens? The write-off is very, very difficult. Actually, you'll we'll have hundreds of lines there. Actually, manual write-off is very difficult. So with the rule, we will not run it once. That's it. <clears throat> once when I run it, all the things which are matching the conditions will all be cleared. Actually, written off. In that case, uh, you cannot write the reasons there, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ma yeah, yeah. We cannot write the reasons basically. Very correct. It will not say auto cleared actually. Yes, very correct. Reasons cannot be written. It is auto cleared. So that is the only remark which will be coming on the extreme right hand side end on this one. Auto cleared. <clears throat> so, but in fact, what happens? The rule has to explain. Okay? You have to write a synopsis of the rule. The management actually. Okay? With this rule, oh, we are now cleared of this many. You cannot write a reason. Manual, we can very well write a reason actually. Anas, earlier someone asked this question. Now, what if supplier asks for that hundred quantity back? Okay, return me that hundred quantity. What happens? <laughs> he is asking you to return back the hundred quantity. You know? <laughs> I don't know what will happen. No, fine. This is what there in the system actually, fine. That you have to map it, match it to the actual one. Fine. That's why there will be a tug of war between our company and the suppliers. Supplier may not agree if you write it down. We will always fight. We will not keep on. When fighting. you write up, is there a way to uh, get a notification that supplier gets a notification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can even give a note. There are some of the explain. You talk to the financials. They will not teach you about how to send a notification to the supplier also upon write up. There are there are ways and means of doing it. Whatever I told you is uh, basically the basic concept of only accrual reconciliation. Fine. There are so many other extra concepts are there. So that you have to whatever they see. Again, my knowledge is not that good. Fine, uh, I know minimal of this. No fine, because I am not dealing on this for more than four years. My students, no fine, sir, sir, sir. I have got stuck on this. What to do? Fine, both it is all very difficult to give an answer to the people. No, basically, <clears throat> they are asking me to clear. Sir, we are li liable to pay the under country of the. Uh... Of course, 
but supplier has not met the deed is not fine he has to provide me the balance sheet or he has to provide the gst registration he has not yet registered at all let us say <laughs> he is cheating actually so because of which what happens we are not keeping some on the hold actually and then we are written off since he has not done anything at all we found out that he has cheated us we will not write it off that's all up to how much amount we can withhold i mean there is, is no such a limit at all I mean, it is all company to company it will not they will not decide on this way rule rating they will not decide on this and that too whichever has got what happens is having a age of more than 180 days not hmm. immediate right? which is now more than 180 days it is not clear then they will not write down i think that is where the criteria comes the where shripati was asking shripati was asking then, right uh, mm -hmm. So that is where the criteria comes. Right? More than one day is fine. It is not yet settled. Why right? write off? That's all. So after the break, we will now begin the cost accounting. Right? So I thought that I will now complete both cost accounting also in this session. <laughs> it has not spilled over to the next session actually. So let me make. <coughs> but we 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 might have already paid the invoice, right? I mean, if you already example... paid, then you cannot do anything at all. Right? It is already paid. It is only for what what is not paid actually. If it is paid, we have no other work. Only on the next one we can know it now. Oh, but if you have already paid, then why it will come in the uh, you know reconciliation? Yeah, reconciliation will not come. Fine, if it is already paid, yeah, then correct, right? If you you have already paid, it means payment is done. Then it won't come in the reconciliation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it won't yeah, come yeah. in the reconciliation area at all. Very correct. Okay. That's just not fine. That's just saying very correctly. Right? So it won't yeah, come in the sure. reconciliation area at all. Fine, if it is already paid. Then it gets matched. The PO approval and then the APO approval is matched means what? It will not come at all. Write-up is basically beneficial for business, but a supplier can come at any point of time. It is not 180 days or 360 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rajesh Thakur is now giving you a lot of examples. Rajesh, you have to put a green tick there. You know, yeah, I, I gave it. So, you know. <laughs> so please remember Rajesh Thakur's, uh, what happens, the name also. Fine. Francis also knows it. So whenever you are getting struck on uh, what happens right off, and then uh, when you want to write a rule, fine, contact these guys. They will now give you more inputs on rule writing actually. It is yes, basically no, 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 of knowledge. Is more, this is more. Uh, this is more common. You know, common sense actually. You know, in business, yeah. you have to apply more common sense reason is to see why it will happen. Exactly. You, know, yeah, you yeah. will know more than the end user also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As Rajesh was saying, it is uh, more of a common sense than of uh, what happens. Uh, Technical nature actually. <clears throat> Fine. We had a discussion and then write it off. So accrual writing was a big, big job in the industry. It's a laborious job also. It's not easy. So we will not go for a break now. Fine. It's 7:55. So I will not begin at 8:10 p.m. India now. Fine. We will not begin at 8:10 p.m. India. Fine. Please don't go away. Remain here itself. And then we will not begin with the cost accounting. Fine. So the receipt accounting is completed. We will not begin with the cost accounting. So go there. I will not leave meeting and then come back.